<laughs> so lots happened since we made a video from our home workshop. My son got a new lathe, moved to a new house, got his own wood shop. So I thought I'd just show his new lathe real quick. What is it? It's a jet what? 1221BS. 1221BS? BS. VS. Variable speed with bed extension. So you've got digital variable speed on there. These are very popular right now. Very nice lathe. It's like the Cadillac of the jet lathes. Yeah, of the mini lathes. Of the mini lathes. Okay. That's pretty cool. And you build him a nice bench. And who'd you get the idea from? Steve Ramsey, uh, woodworking for Mere Mortals. He built a workbench like this, and so I followed his plans and example. Got double three quarter inch plywood top, cabinet grade. Got double two by four legs. It's all boxed in with two by fours on the bottom. Probably moving the camera too fast, making everybody dizzy. Nice and sturdy. I'm gonna put a shelf on the bottom so I can add some wood and some weight to help cut down on vibration. It's a good idea. You could even throw some sandbags on there if mm -hmm. worst came to worst, to cut down on vibration. If you look at my wood collection. I think I've got plenty. Yeah, we'll we'll wood. get to that in a minute. <laughs> this is a little innovation I thought was pretty cool. Got his uh, chuck tool sitting there. Got two magnets that he inlaid, set in to the wood. And that holds that right there where he needs it, right at the right height. I thought that was a pretty good idea. He used to leave it sitting on top on the other end like this, but that tool was a little heavier and with the vibration it would slide off and slide down the top of the lathe. So set a couple magnets in the wood and that stays right where it should be. Seemed to work out pretty good. Got the old bandsaw with a little homemade sled on it for cutting pen blanks. And of course we've got the necessities. Sunflower seeds, good selection. Got a nice shelf for all of his bowl blanks. A lot of those we cut on our video about logs to bowl blanks. Got some really nice wood, some from uh, Dale Nish's personal collection after he passed away. Really nice pieces. So yeah, got the new wood shop. Oh, we got to show the new grinder too. Got a new grinder and sharpening system. Gonna set it up on a an old projector cart from a school so we can move it around if he needs to take it where he wants to so he can sharpen his tools for now we'll probably park it right next to the wood lathe so it's looking pretty good dogs outside annoying the neighbors or maybe the neighbors are annoying the dog if we can get a shot of the clock there in the light come here Jack oh. that's Jack Black our new mascot Okay, so I saw something like this in a video by Matthias Wendell uh, on the Wood Gears channel. But I have a light that has a mount that normally mounts to a desk, but I took it off and just mounted it to that 2x4 and put it into the walls with pocket screws. So now I can pull this lamp out and move it to wherever I want on my desk and get the light exactly where I want it or tuck it back up and out of the way in between the studs. It makes for a nice mobile focused light. That's a great idea. The only problem I see with that is if you decide to insulate and put an inside wall in, you'll have to, have to move, it. move it out. But yeah, that's a good idea. You can see the whole desk. Cool. And where are these guys? Um, these are, I saw these on Jay Bates' channel, actually. I've been watching a lot of woodworking YouTube. 
and he makes his five dollar lumber racks out of two by fours and so i did the same thing just did a half lap joint on there rounded the ends off the two by fours and i'm just going to pocket screw it into the wall up here above my desk and maybe on the wall behind the lathe to hold some of my lumber so, making shelves out of them yep so there's just some shelf brackets or anything. this is the j baits five dollar lumber rack and so nice that's pretty cool too. Good use of a two by four. Yep. We can put links to everybody's videos in the description. Okay, we'll do that. All right, cool stuff. Thanks.